Welcome to this video where we will be exploring the rise and fall of Tesco's ambitious expansion into the American market. Tesco, a British multinational grocery and general merchandise retailer, entered the United States in 2007 with high hopes of success. However, after years of struggle, the company ultimately failed to gain traction and was forced to pull out of the market in 2013. In this video, we will examine the reasons behind Tesco's failure in America. From cultural differences to fierce competition and failure to adapt to the American market, we will analyze the key factors that contributed to Tesco's downfall. So join us as we explore the lessons learned from this experience and uncover the valuable insights that can be gained from Tesco's failure in America. Tesco's entry into the American market was marked by high expectations and ambitions. In 2007, the company launched its fresh and easy chain of stores in California, Arizona, and Nevada. Tesco's strategy for the American market was to create small format, convenient stores that offered healthy and fresh food options at affordable prices. The company invested heavily in state-of-the-art technology, including self-checkout systems and automated distribution centers, to streamline operations and reduce costs. However, Tesco's expansion into America was met with significant challenges. Firstly, the company faced stiff competition from well-established retailers such as Walmart, Kroger, and Safeway, who had a strong presence in the American market. Additionally, Tesco struggled to understand and adapt to the unique demands and preferences of American consumers, which differed significantly from those of their UK counterparts. One of the key reasons behind Tesco's failure in America was its failure to navigate the cultural differences between the UK and America. The American market has a different consumer culture, food culture, and shopping culture, which Tesco failed to fully understand and appreciate. For example, Americans tend to prefer larger supermarkets that offer a wider range of products and brands. Additionally, American consumers place a higher value on customer service and personal interaction with store employees. Furthermore, Tesco's approach to product offerings did not resonate with American consumers. The company emphasized fresh and healthy food options, which did not appeal to the American taste for packaged and processed foods. Overall, Tesco's failure to adapt to the unique cultural differences in the American market contributed significantly to its ultimate failure in the country. Tesco faced intense competition from established retailers in the American market, including Walmart, Kroger, and Safeway. These retailers had a strong presence in the market, with established supply chains and loyal customer bases. Tesco's fresh and easy stores were unable to compete with these retailers in terms of pricing, product offerings, and brand recognition. Additionally, Tesco's approach to competition in America was different from its approach in the UK. In the UK, Tesco was known for its aggressive pricing and promotional strategies, which helped it to gain market share and dominate the market. However, in America, Tesco failed to adapt its pricing and promotional strategies to the unique demands of the market. This contributed to its inability to gain a foothold in the highly competitive American retail landscape. Another significant factor contributing to Tesco's failure in America was its failure to adapt to the unique demands of the American market. Tesco's fresh and easy stores were designed to cater to the specific needs and preferences of UK consumers, rather than American consumers. The company failed to understand the importance of localized product offerings and did not tailor its stores to meet the unique demands of the American market. Tesco also struggled to adapt to the American consumer's preference for larger supermarkets that offered a wider range of products and brands. Furthermore, Tesco's reliance on state-of-the-art technology, including self-checkout systems and automated distribution centers, also failed to resonate with American consumers who place a higher value on personal interaction and customer service. Overall, Tesco's failure to adapt to the unique demands of the American market contributed significantly to its ultimate failure in the country. In conclusion, Tesco's ambitious expansion into the American market was marked by high hopes and ambitious plans. However, the company ultimately failed to gain traction and was forced to pull out of the market in 2013. The reasons behind Tesco's failure in America were varied and complex, with cultural differences, intense competition, and failure to adapt to the American market among the key contributing factors. Ultimately, Tesco's experience in America serves as a cautionary tale for companies seeking to expand into new markets. 
Understanding and adapting to the unique cultural, economic, and social factors in a new market is crucial to success. Failure to do so can result in costly and ultimately unsustainable ventures, such as Tesco's Fresh and Easy Chain in America.